Led by the legendary Yu Suzuki, EastNet is a studio that has unfortunately left a bad taste in many gamers' mouths, myself included. Yeah, I was a backer for Shenmue 3, which was an absolute train wreck back in 2019. And while that was a bit of a disaster, one game doesn't have to define your entire studio, right? The team looks to get back on track with Air Twister, a smaller, more focused project that has previously released on Apple Arcade, but is now heading to PC and all major consoles. Is Air Twister a lovingly crafted tribute to Space Harrier and other classic arcade games of the past, or does it get all twisted up? Let's find out in our full review. But hey, don't get your undies in a twist, head on over to patreon.com slash idreamofindiegames. You'll gain Discord access, exclusive live streams, early ad-free shows, a new podcast, and more. Your community is waiting. In Air Twister, Suzuki draws inspiration not just from Space Harrier, but other classic series such as Ultima, Panzer Dragoon, and even Outrun. It is an on-rail shooter first and foremost, and a beautiful one at that. True to its name, you'll weave and twist through enemies as you fly forward dodging oncoming projectiles. Locking onto your foes is as simple as gliding your lead character over them as if she were a paintbrush, or gliding your finger across the screen if playing on Steam Deck, and then unleashing your own plasma-based attacks with the press of a button. It's as easy as that, with multiple difficulty options should the going get tough. You'll control Princess Arch, who is battling alien-like creatures that are attacking her planet. Much like the gameplay, the story is a cut-and-dry affair and not a major focus at all. Yet, for as simple as it all seems, there's something undeniably inviting about the world of Air Twister. Perhaps it's the enemy design, a mix of pulsating orb-shaped robots, winged elephant creatures, or even yellow flying stingrays to name just a few. Or maybe it's the bosses, massive creatures that hurl everything at you except the kitchen sink. One of my personal favorites was a dancing clock and candle set that wouldn't have looked out of place in the Disney classic Beauty and the Beast. The world of Air Twister is a majestic one full of whimsy and magic, and its 12 gorgeously crafted levels are just as beautiful to breathe in as they can be difficult to survive. Further heightening the world of Air Twister is a fascinating soundtrack from Valencia, who summons the majestic beauty of a Queen album through 19 spellbinding musical pieces. Featuring tracks both old and new, these stunning works feature powerful vocals, piano, percussion, and gorgeous orchestration that had my jaw on the floor. <laughs> As someone who absolutely loves Queen, I thought someone had summoned the ghost of Freddie Mercury for this soundtrack. It's just that good. When you factor the gorgeous visuals and amazing music together, Air Twister suddenly feels more like a religious experience than a cut and dry arcade shooter. It's so beautiful, in fact, that one would be forgiven for taking additional damage simply from being lost in the majesty and fantasy of it all. If you are concerned with Air Twister being a one and done experience, you can fear not, as the game features a surprise surprising amount of gameplay modes, and even a built-in adventure map where you're able to spend stars that you've collected to obtain new items and unlockables. New items include everything from weapons to outfits, and you might even learn just a bit more about the world of Air Twister itself. With each unsuccessful run, it felt good knowing it wasn't all for nothing, as I was constantly looking forward to getting further and further on the adventure map. Even the simple act of redressing the princess brought me great joy, as some of her outfits look amazing. Air Twister also features more than just a simple campaign. Other modes can be unlocked including a Stardust mode that puts you on a timer, a Fluffy mode that I won't spoil here, Turbo mode, extra stages, and even some minigames. If that weren't enough, players looking for an additional challenge will also find a more difficult arcade mode. Here you'll have one life to live, so best of luck to you. The developers have even included a boss rush. Air Twister is a surprisingly well fleshed out product that doesn't skimp out on content, which can sometimes be one of the bigger complaints gamers have with arcade rail shooters. It's also nice that Air Twister performed beautifully on my PC, blazing along at 120 FPS without a single drop. I was playing on a 4070 NVIDIA graphics card, which is likely overkill for a game that honestly has the art direction of a souped-up Dreamcast game, but I say this not to sell the product's presentation short. I love the visuals of many Dreamcast titles, and it was nice to see that style brought to life again yet refined for more modern times. If players wish to enjoy the game on Steam Deck, the experience will not look quite as majestic as on a large screen, and I did encounter some pretty nasty frame rate dips here and there. I would also 
say while both options are available, swiping your finger over enemies didn't feel as fun as gliding over them as it kind of dumbed down the gameplay a little bit too much for my taste. In a way, it is ironic that Air Twister was originally a mobile game because experiencing its world on a massive screen at high resolutions is where it truly seems to shine. Still, with proper Steam Deck support and optimization, the handheld version could eventually become more serviceable. If I had to levy criticism at Air Twister, it would be in the simplicity of the gameplay itself. Ultimately, there isn't much to do in terms of gameplay outside of dodging shots, tagging enemies, and shooting back. If you weren't a fan of this genre before, Air Twister will not change your mind at all. While challenging and engaging for me, it's ultimately still an arcade shooter, and in 2023, fans of the genre itself seem to be somewhat of a dying breed. But I know you are out there, right? While the game does try to speak to more modern audiences through its aforementioned skill map and upgrade system, at the end of the day, this might not be enough for many gamers. Air Twister is undoubtedly a niche product with a specific audience in mind. Also, as much as I praise the world, music, and art direction, I could just as easily see all of those features being a turnoff for other players. This is a very strange game in the way it's presented, and you'll either be on board with that as I was, or completely dumbfounded by it all. But all told, I found Air Twister to be a welcome return for Yu Suzuki and company. By making a smaller, more focused title, EaseNet have crafted a unique, well-made product that won't be for everyone, but in the right hands is a captivating experience. I am awarding Air Twister the silver genie lamp of approval. Jump it up, I'm not the type of zombie